In order to take this course, you're required to watch this video on academic dishonesty and complete the associated quiz. Online courses are different from those on campus, and some extra steps need to be taken to ensure that students are fulfilling the educational requirements for the course. You will find this information outlined in your syllabus. As a student, you should know that the syllabus is a contract between you, the student, and me, the professor. The guidelines are established, and we both must follow them. One of the biggest problems with online courses is that the internet is just a click away. This means many students go to Wikipedia or other sources to answer questions. Relying on your textbook is best for learning the material, but sometimes the internet can be helpful. What is not okay is to find some related information on the internet and then just cut and paste it to complete your assignment. Make sure that you do not cut and paste to complete your assignments in this class. In addition, it's not okay to cut and paste from another student's work, even if that student is in your class or is your friend. And remember, you cannot use old work from another course and submit it as new work in this course. You must complete every assignment, discussion post, test, quiz, paper, and exam on your own. It is not okay to collaborate with other students to finish the work. This is an online course, and as such, you are expected to work independently. There are no group projects in this class, so you should not be sharing info and working as a group. Of course, you should know already that it is cheating to have someone do the work for you. That should go without saying. A lot of students aren't as familiar with the rules against plagiarizing as they should be. When doing research, a student can use resources for writing papers, but the resource must be cited. For example, if you find an interesting piece of information from the internet and you use it in your work, make sure to put the info inside quotation marks and add the website address next to the info so I would know that you were doing research and not just cutting and pasting information. In this class we don't have any research papers as such, so I'm not expecting you to know writing styles or guidelines such as APA or ASA or MLA. For this class, it's enough that you just add in the book or the website address for any information that you're using directly from a source. It's pretty easy for me to catch when someone cuts and pastes, and really nothing makes me angrier. You'll find that I'm really lenient in a lot of ways, but not when it comes to this particular thing. I'll end up giving you an F for the assignment and then report you to student affairs if I do catch you cheating in any way. I'd rather read your ideas and opinions and thoughts on particular subjects and understand really what you have to say than to read some cut and paste from the internet. So just as a general rule, do not cut and paste in this class.